Here's the puzzle. On one hand, humans are unique in the natural world in using fancy technologies, sophisticated languages, and complex institutions. These cultural products have permitted us to expand across the globe and thrive in nearly every terrestrial environment. However, on the other hand, when stranded alone in the wild, we flounder. Our big brains don't seem to help us tackle even the most basic survival challenges, like finding food, building shelters, or avoiding predators. How can we produce such stunning feats, unparalleled in other animals, while at the same time struggle to survive as hunter-gatherers? Drawing insights from lost European explorers, clever chimpanzees, hunter-gatherers, cultural neuroscience, ancient bones, and the human genome, The Secret of Our Success, a new book by Joe Henrik, a professor at Harvard University, shows that it's not our general intelligence, innate brain power, or specialized mental abilities that explain our success. Instead, it's our collective brains, which arise from a combination of our ability to learn selectively from each other and from our sociality. Our collective brains, which often operate outside of any individual's conscious awareness, gradually produce increasingly complex, nuanced, and subtle technological, linguistic, and social products over generations. The power of a group's collective brain depends on a group's size and interconnectedness, which is why larger and more interconnected populations tend to possess a wider range of different tools, more sophisticated technologies, and more complex languages. The power of our collective brains to generate fancy cultural products like fire, cooking, water containers, animal tracking know-how, plant knowledge, social rituals, marriage systems, training routines, and projectile weapons has long propelled our species' genetic evolution in new directions, making us into the world's only living cultural species. We don't have culture because we're smart. We're smart because we have culture. Our individual abilities to solve problems depend heavily on a massive download of cultural information that we acquire while growing up in particular environments. We grow up in a world with wheels, screws, writing, electricity, telephones, and the internet. These, like so much else, are hard to invent, but easy to master and recombine. Similarly, our language supplies multiple spatial reference systems for talking and thinking about space, as well as an integer system for unbounded counting. But if it's these cultural packages that make us smart, where did the packages come from? Tracking this puzzle back into the mists of our evolutionary past and around the globe, Henrik shows how learning from others can give rise to a process of cumulative cultural evolution that will gradually produce, well outside of anyone's conscious awareness, increasingly sophisticated technologies, complex languages, and subtle institutional forms. Among the traditional societies of Oceania, for example, Larger islands with bigger populations sustain larger and more complex toolkits. This culture-driven process dramatically influenced our species' genetic evolution, expanding our brains to make us better cultural learners, altered much of our psychology to prepare us for life in our culturally constructed environments, and modified our anatomy and physiology. Henrik shows that human evolution and psychology only make sense in the light of culture and culture-driven genetic evolution. For more information, read the secret of our success.